Welcome back. I'm Amanda with Healthy House on the Block, and I'm here with our weekly video and tip on creating an indoor space that truly supports your health and your wellness. And this week we are talking about healthy ways to prevent pests, insects, rodents from your home. I want to share with you some of the reasons we want to keep these things out of our home, obviously, besides them just being gross, but also how do we prevent them coming in our home in the first place, and how do you do it without any toxins that might be in other products you find at the store? So other than the obvious reasons that they're disgusting and gross, there are some really key facts that you need to know about why we keep rodents and insects out of our homes at all instead of just letting them in and killing them inside of our homes. So first let's talk bugs, spiders, moths, ants. These are things we usually try desperately to keep out of our home, but mostly just by instinct. Besides making your house feel unclean and introducing outside insects and bugs to your home, it can also introduce germs, pesticides from the outside, and other chemicals into your home. So not to mention that bugs that end up inside can negatively affect things like your electrical box, your furnace, or your water heater if they decide to make a home inside. Bugs also attract rodents and animals who actually eat these bugs, and it makes your home their new restaurant. So if you live in an area with more aggressive insects and bugs like carpenter ants or moths, moths that chew through clothing and fabric, then you'll really want to keep them out of your house to protect your structure and your stuff. So before you go and buy just anything at the store to get rid of mice and bugs in your home, I want to share with you some of the toxins that are present in a lot of these products. Pesticides are a really dangerous solution to bring into your home for a number of reasons. Some pesticides can interfere with the natural hormone production in your bodies and it can lead to negative effects on the reproductive system. Studies have shown that prenatal exposure to pesticides has been linked to birth defects in infants. And the big one for me is there's a study that links compromised immune systems in infants and children to pesticide exposure. So let's be completely honest, I recognize that pesticides are basically a poison that you're bringing into your home. Its intent is to kill off bugs and insects, but the overspray and residue from them can be left on surfaces that you are not even aware of. The same is true of poisons used to kill mice and other rodents. So if you have pets, I honestly beg you not to purchase these and put them in your house at all, even in your garage. So truly the best way to take care of insects and rodents is to prevent them from coming into your space at all. And there's a really great, completely toxin-free way to do it, and I'm gonna share it with you. So I love Earthkind. This is the brand that I use for any sort of insect or pest repellent in my home. After researching their products and their ingredients, I was so impressed with their system. So they only use oils and herbs and plants that come from local and small family farms. These farms use traditional and sustainable farming practices to make the ingredients safe for your family to use. So Earthkind's natural bug repellent for spiders not only repels spiders, but it also repels the insects that spiders feed on. So this is the way to go when you're looking to get rid of spiders as it gets rid of the whole reason they're in your home in the first place. Earthkind uses these natural pouches and they can last for about 30 days in an enclosed space. If you want your pouch to last longer, they have little pods that you can put them in. Those will increase the life of the pouch for up to 90 days. And one thing I didn't even realize is that most Earthkind products you can actually just get at Target and you can get them off Amazon or you can go directly to their website. So the natural bug repellent formula they use is made up from natural oils. They use rosemary, lemongrass, and citronella for spiders and insects. This is the one that we use the most often in our own home. But then every year we combat ants and this usually happens in the spring. They have an excellent stay away ant pod that is one of my favorite products. They also have natural mice repellents. These are pouches that we typically keep in our garage. It contains natural fragrances and oils, including balsam fir, which is a natural botanical pesticide, as opposed to synthetic pesticides. 
These pouches are good for 30 to 60 days. So there's some other really important ways that you can actually help your home in preventing any sort of pest or rodent from coming in. So first we want to seal up your home. Go around and make sure there aren't any openings that rodents or bugs can get into. Be sure to check areas near your roof lines, around doors and windows, and at the foundation of your home. You also really want to keep your doors closed. And I know this is easier said than done, especially when you have kids. I feel like I'm constantly asking them to close the door after they go outside or come in. But you can also install a self-closing hinge on doors to garages, and it can help the door swing shut after it's opened. You also want to be really aware of your vacuuming and dusting. Keeping your space clean from food sources for bugs and insects and rodents will help keep them out of your house altogether. So make sure you're vacuuming forgotten places where cobwebs can start and really doing a deep clean on a regular basis. Often these pests aren't out in the open or in areas that are cleaned regularly. And then you can keep your garage in check. So if you have an attached garage, this can be a great place to prevent mice and bugs by keeping it clean and free of openings as it's kind of like a gateway to your home. So keep seals on the bottoms of your garage doors intact to prevent mice from coming in all winter long. A lot of ways that we can prevent bugs and insects and rodents in our home in a really toxin-free way. I hope that you can take at least one thing from this video and apply it in your own home. If you would like any of the Earth Kind Stay Away products, I have them all linked in the blog post this week, which is in the description for you. I will be back again next week with another healthy house tip on creating an indoor space that truly supports your health and your wellness.